Hey guys, it's me. Tex here with something a little bit different. A friend of mine asked how to set up a palace of souls, which is when you basically camp a chair and you place a few trees in very specific areas with um, certain intentions in mind when planting them. So uh, I'm in church because church has a lot of really good chairs that are good to show for when uh, in any such case. So here we have this chair. It's right on the edge of the corrupted zone. So there are there are th three or four ways you can basically do it. They all have the same basic philosophies where basically what you want to do is have the um, corrupted zone sort of intersect in a very specific way. So let's say we want to have the um, have it intersect right here. I'm going to show the five tree method. This is very wasteful. I do not recommend doing this, but I'm going to do it for the sake of demonstration. So you're going to plant a tree right there on the edge. You want to put it on the edge of the corrupted zone so it's a lot easier to measure. Um, this is good if uh, you just kind of don't really get how it works yet. I'm going to plant it on the edge right here. Of course, right as I did that, it all fell down. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it right here. And this is more of a, like a demonstration, so then, let's see, so then I also want to place one right about here, on this edge. Of course, you're not going to get as exact as this, but still. And then I want to place one right here, like this. So of course, you don't want to do this exactly, but if you notice, right here, they all intersect right here. And so then you just have a million fireballs going around, and uh, the uh, and uh, it and it becomes significantly easier to, to defend. That's the whole idea, at least. I don't recommend doing it this way because it takes five trees, and that's just a little bit wasteful. So I'm going to show you how I personally try measuring it because you don't need to be this exact. This exact has its problems, but um, so yeah. But this is the general idea. Um, this is the four tree method, because I don't put a tree here, I just kind of wing it. I put these a little bit closer so that you have the restful roads, but um, yeah, that is the basic idea. This one, though, could um, be used to get like really good speed penalties and spawn those purple fireballs, but yeah, as you can see, these fireballs are freaking everywhere. So then, let me go to another chair and show the um, uh, the more reasonable ways. That's just kind of the demonstration of how uh, how it's supposed to work. So uh, let's go over here. So there's a so yeah. Generally, there will be a tree that spawns right here. And so for here, what I'll do is I'll place a tree right here. And it takes a lot of experimenting, and I'll place one. That, right here, right about at this pallet. This way you get the restful road, and then where the Corrupted Zone's um, edges are, it so this kind of triangle formation has it had, makes it a lot easier to defend, because you have it, you have it going through this area, and you have it going at each of the edges, and yeah, it's just this is a this is called the um, the three tree method, which in which you basically put a tree in you put them in a triangle area around the chair. And of course, this is all you have to kind of experiment. Uh, next, I'm going to show you the uh, the two tree method, which is a lot simpler. What you basically do is let me find a chair real quick. Give me a sec. Um, chair, chair, chair. Okay, there's one over here. What you do with the two tree method? is you will place a tree right about here and you place a tree right about here and so you have that restful road going right in between the chair and the way that this works is that these trees in intersecting right exactly to where you have basically one big tree going around this is really good if you're if you're low on trees or your management isn't going too great and, uh, as, and then it's going to spawn more uh, souls than just having one tree. And as you see, it, um, this is, so this is the easy way to do it. Um, uh, 
And so then let me go ahead and also go and do the Fortree method. Um, the Fortree method usually requires a tree to be there. Um, I do not recommend doing this unless there's a tree already there. But basically what you'd want to do is let's say there's a tree that spawned right here. What you want to do is basically put it in a square pattern around the chair. So you want to put a tree there. You want to put a tree there. And you want to put a tree about here, in a square. And in this sort of square uh, area, you have a ton of fireballs. This is the best, this is the best area to defend. Because, um, or at least this kind of formation, but it requires very good tree management. Um, and it take a lot of time if you don't, if you don't know how to do it right. So let's say I tear someone right there, I could probably do it in about five seconds. Because I just go to each area, and I know generally where to plant it. And so, as you can see, if they come from anywhere, there's fireballs waiting right there. But this isn't always practical, um, because it, it can take a lot of time to set this up if there isn't already a tree there, or if you don't have max trees. So uh, the two tree method is there for if you need the um, if you need that kind of uh, if you're low on trees. And the, it, but you want to still do it instead of a house. Well, that's how you do it. So let's say you have no trees, and but you're at max trees, and you think you can uh, properly manage your trees. Then you instead, what you want to do is you want to put in a triangle formation. So you want to put one here, put one here, and put one right about here in this triangle formation. And so then this way, it it works the same way. Where you're just going to have a ton of souls going around, and the, the and they're just going to spawn freaking everywhere. But it isn't going to be as insane as doing the fortree method over there. Um, uh, and yeah, that is how you set up a pile of souls. I hope that you learned something. So yeah, the basic ways are you either do a line right at the edges of each, of each other's corrupted zones. You do a triangle formation. Or if there's already a tree there, you do a sort of square formation. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, goodbye.